<laughs> you know, I went into this wanting to say to you that Psycho is back and as good or almost as good as Hitchcock, which I know seems heinous because you can't get to Hitchcock. But people, I just want to say, holding all reservations, this show is so This show opens up with Freddie Highmore as Norman Bates. Um, we all know a Norman Bates, and you know, Freddie Highmore does Norman Bates pretty well. This is a kind of prequel, because at first you think it's kind of in the 1950s, and then they move, and all of a sudden there's iPhones everywhere. And, you know, so you're like, okay, so they're driving 50s cars, and all of a sudden this, like, 2015 Porsche that a high schooler is driving in drives up with an iPhone, and they're using their earbuds in the car, which is a very dangerous idea. What? This is just nitpicking here, I guess, but I'm sure some of you really caught on to this. Freddie Highmore is sitting in a bus stop. And he's just sitting there doing his own thing. And he's like, whatever, I'm just doing my own thing. My mom's... He's into his mom, weird. And out of nowhere, high school cheerleaders hop up to him and say, Oh my god, this is literally one of the first lines from the main story of the show. Is, oh my god, do you want to be friends? You're new, I want to be friends with you. Do you want to be friends? I went through high school, as I'm sure hundreds of you did, if hundreds of you watch my channel. What high school cheerleader is going to hop up next to a new kid who looks all awkward wearing, like, plaid and stuff? Oh, hey, 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 hey you're new here, right? Th this is my channel. This oh. is my YouTube channel. I'm doing a Bates Motel review. What oh, are you doing? I just thought you wanted to be friends. I mean, I haven't seen you here before. I know some hot cheerleaders. Realism. A guy wearing, like, plaid and, like, hiking his pants up to here, and, you know, wearing his little shirt, like, way too tight, is... That is not how high school cheerleaders hop up to someone like, you want to be best friends? And she has a boyfriend that they establish later. What girl that's a cheerleader with a jock boyfriend is gonna hop up on some nerdy kid and say, want to be best friends? I don't care if he looks gay as Bruno Mars on an Oprah Winfrey show after a date with Clay Aiken. That is not happening, okay? Norman doesn't have friends. In this, Norman is popular. I get the story arc is supposed to go on, but he is continuously breaking the lore of Psycho. And the mother is just obnoxious. She is supposed to be this kind of crazy woman. She does that all right. But she's sitting around just annoying you. And she's a mean person to everybody. You do not like these characters ever. You know, in Psycho, at least you liked Norman Bates. In this one, you don't even like him that much. Literally, he sits there and says, You know, Mom, you're kind of an asshole. That's the first three and a half minutes of this TV show. I actually stopped it originally ten minutes into the TV show and said, I'm done. And because of this review, because I love the twelve of you who are subscribed to me, I continued. The dumbest police officers on the planet are in this TV show, and I love the actor Mike Vogel. You were great in Cloverfield. You're an idiot in this show. Okay, when somebody stabs someone to death with blood effects, and then you put them in a bathtub and they're bleeding and gushing blood and organs in their bathtub, which how in the hell did that make like an eight o'clock time slot? Anyways, they're, they're, they're laying dead with their organs hanging out in the bathtub, like flooded with blood. And the police officer goes, 
Kinda gotta go use the bathroom. It's alright, I know how to fix the toilet that's broken, incidentally, in this room. And he goes to go use the bathroom. He, he is six inches from the dead body with organs hanging out, blood everywhere, and you don't even smell that? Okay, I leave food out for 15 minutes and it starts to smell. You don't smell a rotting, fat person's corpse, which I'll get onto that in a sec. You don't smell that and then you go to the bathroom for way too long and then you walk out and you're like, alright, let's go home, guys, after we acted really suspicious of everything. You are the dumbest cops in the world. Like, you know what, let's bring on that awkward guy who knows cheerleaders again to explain the idiocracy of police officers. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? So, you know, what are the cops like around here by Bates Motel? We have cops. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, when we killed that one person the other day, we just left them in front of the police precinct. We just took it away slightly from the door where they opened and just left it there. I didn't know we had cops. Oh, yeah, that building with the big sign that says Sheriff on it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, we left a dead body there the other day. What's that? Yeah, and have you been caught? No. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Take all my pirated movies and, um, this dead human baby. I'm almost through it. <laughs> I'm almost through it. I love Psycho. I love Psycho. And I hate this show. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna score the pilot of this show. Uh, poor character development, poor characters, lazy acting, lazy directing, Maybe it's because I'm hot off of Breaking Bad, but this show is lazy, and I've been looking forward to this show for months. I was let down. I'm a huge Psycho fan. That makes me even more let down, people. I've probably never gone this low. I'm going to go for a 12% on this show. I'm very pissed off at the lines they cross. Breaking Bad, a show about making meth and getting away with it, crosses less lines than Bates Motel. And Breaking Bad had five seasons to cross that line. And you know what? Bates Motel does it, and I am very much not in support of it. You guys, if you watch it, will know. I'm going to keep watching it for the sake of I'm a psycho fan and I want to see if it gets better. If you guys think it's good, comment below, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep watching MP27 Reviews. we got more videos coming for you. Hey, you done with the review? Yeah, I'm done with the review. I wasn't joking about those cheerleaders. Really? Yeah, they're right outside. Yeah, but aren't they all stupid here? Yeah. Don't they just make poor decisions? Yeah. Aren't they all just paid actors? Yeah. Sounds like high school. Let's go. <laughs>